and welcome back to our PC build video for February 2018. We're going to continue on with the install of the SSD drives and the video card. Check out the Amazon affiliate links in the description below for all products used. So first up we're going to take care of installing the SSD drives. So we have two mounting positions, uh, a left and a right side, and they are on top of the power supply shroud. So we just need to uh, undo those brackets and put them on there and screw them back down. Now as you can see in the background there, I already pre-routed the power cable and the SATA cable, if it stays in focus here. In my opinion, you make the job so much easier if you plan stuff ahead. And so, like before installing all your components, especially the ones that require wiring, you know, fastening down, all that stuff, you really want to try and have a good battle plan in advance to know exactly where your cable is going to be routed, where it's coming from, where it needs to end up. Because later on, once you have all your componentry installed and ready to go, you will end up being greeted by a very nasty mess of wires on the other side of the case. So here, when you're ready to mount the SSD drive onto the actual bracket, make sure you have the connectors pointed to the correct direction. I've done this so many times, I'm in a hurry, I bolt them down, I end up facing the connectors in the wrong direction. It happens all the time, just make sure you look before you start bolting stuff down. Alright, now it's time to mount them in place. Of course, when you handle shiny objects, fingerprints will get on it, so you might as well take a cloth and just wipe it all down, and then you're ready to go. And there it is, my old video card, the GTX 1070 Super Clocked. Yes, it's not old, it's from 2016, it's what we have from our prior gaming build. We're going to move that over to this new build, but we are going to add something to that for cable management. This is the EVGA power link adapter, which fits over top of either one or both of the cable connectors on top and it creates a port on the side instead so that you don't have to have cables looping over top of the video card and getting in the way it's an eyesore this way it's tucked away and it's great for cable management and it looks good too So in the box, they give you, of course, the power link adapter. They give you this little tiny tool and two replacement screws because these little screws in there are so tiny. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can hardly see them. That's how small they are. A little instruction manual. And that's pretty much it. It's very simple. So first things first, we have to assess what kind of a port configuration do we need now we have an 8 pin up top and all we want to do is have the 8 pin on the side so seeing that the adapter has already pre-installed there are two 8 by 8s we need to remove the one because otherwise we can't slip it in there because the one on the inside there is blocking the way and the two on the side there they just stay the same you, you don't need to move that so that's fine, we just need to move the one on the inside and take it out. That's why we have the tool. So we just need to get in there, unscrew it, take it out, pop it back in, and it should be good to go. And 
And there it is, we got the configuration correct. We left one 8-pin connector up top. We took the other one out, but it still needs some adjusting because there's a gap on the right side now where it fits up snug against the video card. So we're gonna go ahead back in there with the tool. We can loosen up the little screw that holds that one adapter there and slide the entire unit just a little more to close the gap, tighten it back up, and I think it will be a perfect fit. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we are finally finished. It took a little while to just make the adjustment right. You had to use the tool. It was a little finicky. But once you get it straightened out, you close the gap on the side. And yeah, it fits really nice. I don't think the camera is getting the port. I'm trying to zoom into the port there, but I don't think the uh, lighting situation is good enough. But anyway, you get the idea. Let's go ahead and get this thing installed. And we are ready to install the video card. There it goes into the top PCIe slot. And we need to remove two of the brackets on the back of the case because it is a double wide card. So we gotta remove that so then it will have enough space to drop it in and then put the two screws back on holding it in place. And that is all she wrote for today's episode. We did the SSD drives and mounted the video card along with the power link adapter for some cable managing. I will plug that cable in here in a minute off camera because I can't do it on my own and wield the camera. Thanks so much for watching. Click on the Amazon links in the description below for all the products used. We'll catch you next time.